With her love of beautiful objects, whether rare Georgian furniture, humble woven baskets, aged garden urns, Italian painted furniture, or contemporary tall flowers, not to mention her passion for plush velvets, faded chintzes, printed linens, and intricate paisleys and acots, it would be hard to consider Suzanne Reinstein a minimalist. And yet Reinstein's rooms never overwhelm. Quite the contrary. Increasingly over the years, the spaces she creates have become ever more spare and serene. And yet there is no better exemplar of her ability to conjure supremely refined relaxation than her own getaway in Montecito. And yet no one who decorates so chic for Christmas than Suzanne Reinstein. The Los Angeles-based interior designer incorporates many Southern traditions in her decorations based on her childhood upbringing in New Orleans. Reinstein's daughter, Kate Reinstein Brodsky, helps decorate the living room Christmas tree every year. The chaise is English Regency. Panels of Chinese wallpaper hang in frames. When Suzanne Reinstein hosts an open house on Boxing Day at her Colonial Revival home in the Hancock Park neighborhood, this is the scene. I grew up doing it this way, she says. It's a great way to entertain over the holidays. And as guests of all good Southern hosts know, the food will be delicious, the drinks plentiful, the house pretty, and the host delighted to see you. Antique French terracotta garden statues in the dining room are adorned with garlands of greenery. The Regency table is topped with a centerpiece of homemade sugared fruit along with ironstone tableware. Over the past decade, celebrated style maker Suzanne Reinstein has achieved an unprecedented level of refinement and clarity. Her love of objects from the past remains a touchstone but in her newest rooms, stylish modernity and an elegant simplicity hold sway. You look at the rooms of celebrated interior designer Suzanne Reinstein and, it's true, you see beautiful, beguiling spaces and ways of putting together furniture and belongings that are studied and elegant. Reinstein decorated some of the finest homes in America, creating rooms that weren't just for looking at, but for truly living in. She moved chairs and cocktail tables like chess pieces to ensure that a chat among friends, a night alone, or a roof-raising bash would be equally comfortable. She would come upon a fine old rattan chair is as exciting as finding a rare painted and gilded 18th century Milanese console. That idea on others should be replicated. Reinstein wasn't known for tricks, gimmicks, or hacks, but creativity, yes. Ingenuity even. When upholstering furniture, or cladding walls here, she often used the back side of the cloth, finding it less loud and unintentionally artful. If you try this, for it to work, the fabric must be hand printed, not machine printed, so the ink does not bleed through. Reinstein's rooms are a touch of the unexpected, casual with formal or a bit of quirk in something traditional. In this lacquered sitting room, she picked a dashing apple green and carried the color onto the ceiling. To bring a sense of order and tranquility to a room, Reinstein relied on balancing, pairs of sofas and lamps facing each other or a vignette of two items flanking a third. Suzanne Reinstein, the legendary interior designer, avid gardener, and generous philanthropist died in March 2023 at the age of 77. Suzanne will be remembered for her style and graciousness, her boundless positivity, innumerable acts of kindness, her generosity of spirit and her love for interior design.